Welcome to the City Point Weekly Vlog. So, hello City Point, it's Pastor Mike and... And Terry, good to see you. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. So, Terry's here just like because I needed an upgrade in the beauty department, you oh, know, so she's just, just so like sweet. jewelry. She's just going to dangle here. And <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a dangler. Yes. So uh, anyway, good to see you today. Hope you're all doing well. We're just blessed and enjoying the goodness of God. We just want to take a minute and talk to you together. Um, so much good things and and just exciting things that are going on. And uh, and so I, I just wanted Terry to kind of share a little bit. You know, we, we're, we're going through this Wednesday night marriage on the rock thing. Yes. And man, yes. it is doing you so much good. Well, thank you so much. I really have straightened up, I know. Uh, it's fixed I know. everything. I mean, I well, almost everything. Well, and, uh, yeah, you've got a few nooks and grannies oh. that need to... The Holy Spirit in there too, but uh, well, who needs the Holy Spirit when I got you? <laughs> oh, <I mean. laughs> goodness! Anyway, that's that's just a joke. It's a joke. Um, but no, our Wednesday nights have been really blessed to, mm -hmm. together, and uh, we've been doing some of this homework together and mm -hmm. uh, getting getting into the book. And also, I want to tell you about a class that uh, that Jimmy er Jimmy Evans's ministry called. Uh, marriage today has called it's called the 21 day journey and uh terry and i have taken this class and you pay a i think it's a 30 dollar fee and for 21 days but you can take you know it might take you six months to get through it you you get access to it but anyway there's 21 days of videos and a devotion and 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 it really zeroes in on inner healing and dealing mm -hmm. with your hurts and unforgiveness yeah, and, your emotions yeah and it, it so we've been through that and it's just a really powerful tool if you if you've got some struggles you know maybe you come on wednesday and you uncovered some things and you know and and so in that you need you know more help and this is a great help right here where you two in the privacy of your home listen to a short video read over some scriptures, a devotional, then pray together and talk talk out some of the things that uh, that you might be dealing with. And, you know, it, it, and it doesn't mean necessarily it's all from your marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, what we've found is, you know, like uh, it's really helped uncover a lot of the hurts that I've struggled with from my family and, you know, some, from some father wounds that I carried and and uh, which, you know, it, it, it's just addresses a whole gamut of things. And, and actually, it's made not necessarily for couples. It is made for just uh, anyone that wants to take the journey. And we just happen to do it um, together. That's true. I, uh, yeah. yeah and true. Anybody when who we, needs healing would yeah. benefit from this. And then when we um, do the homework and go through the questions at the end, we both, you know, will both say what we think and what's going on in our lives and our heads. And it's been very, very good. Uh, Jimmy's an excellent author. He's an excellent speaker. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, we, we really need to be committed to resolving our conflicts. And last week's Wednesday night, uh, marriage on the rock class, you know, destructive husbands and wives. We, we really have to deal with these destructive behaviors and uh, toxic elements in our marriages and, and in our other relationships that they spill out into because there's, there's no way we're going to carry, you know, the full power of God, the full blessing of God until we get healed in these areas. And so... It's just exciting. I, good reports are coming in. Marriages are being ministered to and and challenged and blessed and strengthened. And and if you need healing in your life, uh, go on marriagetoday.com, I think it is, and 
you can sign up for this 21-day journey. It's, I've, I've referred several people to it who have come back to me and thanked me profusely for what it, you know, what it meant for them. And, and so I recommend you get involved. It'll, it'll bless you. You know, anytime you set out to, to uh, make your marriage better, to make yourself better, to, to, you know, to be better, you can't lose. And, um, you know, our culture uh, today is, is kind of the antithesis of that. You know, the culture kind of feeds your hurt and feeds the, the isolationism and the individualism that cuts you off. You know, we, we pretend that we have relationships, you know, and we'll just tell you, yeah, you know, I, I have lots of friends. I've had 600 friends on Facebook. Hmm. And yet you're the most isolated, insulated, lonely person on the planet because if your Facebook is not your real life. No, you know, that's names. It's, that's it's, names on the screen. It's a, it's, a, it's a place where a lot of people hide from the real world. Mm -hmm. And our culture, you know, really feeds that kind of uh, isolationism. It actually, you know, they, the culture paints a picture that the world is this scary place and you should, you know, stay off to yourself where you're, you know, you're protected. But but God has an agent that to break that off of you and to bring change into your life, and it's called the church. Mm -hmm. And 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 the body of Christ is been given for healing and for freedom and for edification and exhortation and encouragement. And, you know, James talked about the, the church and he called the church to uh, and, and spoke about these one another commands that I've been talking about. There's 27 one another commands in the New Testament. One of them in James says, uh, pray for one another that you may be healed. You know, and so praying for one another is in the context of the church. You know, I don't go out to the world when I need prayer. I don't think the world has has a prayer, but but when I need prayer, I come to the church, mm -hmm. or I go to my wife and I say, "Honey, I need you to pray for me," you know, because that's that's where I get healed. Mm -hmm. And 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 a lot of people, you know, are not healed because they simply won't let somebody pray for them, you know, and they're they're so hidden and separated from each other. Even when they come to church, they still are walled off. You have a mask on. You don't want people to see really what's inside. So you put on a smile and you may be dying inside. And we're good at that. We're very good at doing that. Well, that's that's the second command in James. Not only does he say pray for one another, he says confess your faults one to another. Mm. You know, and that's mm. hard to do. Yeah. I mean, again, that's so countercultural because what I want to do is tell you about all my strengths and all of my victories and all of my good stuff but but the church is a place where you can bring all your real stuff you know the church should be the place where you can just drop the mask mm -hmm. and come and say man i'm struggling i've got this stuff in my life and i'm having a hard time with it i want to i want to get rid of it i've been struggling with things and and confess it and get it out. I mean, it's never, you know, a sin that you don't repent of can never be forgiven of. Right. A, a, a sin or a fault that you don't get out in the open will always remain in the darkness. Satan moves in the realm of darkness. Yeah. You shine the light on it and he's got to go. Yeah. And that addiction and that problem's got to go when you shine the light on it. And so... You know that's that's why these city circles are so important. Oh, yeah. Where we where we come out of just attending a church and sitting in a row, but we're actually going to get in a circle, sit in a circle of five or six people, and and really pray for one another, listen to one another, bear one another's burdens, confess to one another, and get real with one another. And Sunday was so awesome. I just man, it just oh, yeah. made me want to shout when I saw. First of all, I saw a group of new people who were launching groups like Missy and, and Lori. I saw them standing there. And, and Renee. And Renee and others. That, that just thrilled me to see 
their faith stepping out into the journey to, to, to join and connect with other people in this in this journey and do life together. And then I saw all these brand new people who have not participated in city circles. And I started getting the emails of the list of people who were signing up. And there's a big group of people who've never participated and you've decided to step out and come out of hiding, mm -hmm. you know, and drop the mask and let's just get real and let's get to this and let's, mm -hmm. let's get on and let's do life together. And that just blessed me because there's a, there's a bunch of you. And, and that's, the context, I believe, in how God is going to bring revival to the church mm -hmm. in the days ahead. Because, you know, when the church starts praying together and standing together and doing warfare together, right. that's mm -hmm. revival. I mean, that's what God's going to do exactly. and break loose on on people. And so I just I just so excited about, you know, what happened Sunday. I think we I think we saw a breakthrough. And it came yes, in a different way than maybe you're used to or even I'm used to because usually, you know, we think of a breakthrough and you should be on the floor rolling in the carpet. But you know, I've rolled in the carpet and all I got from it was lint. You know, um, but what, what, when I connect with people and when God's spirit gets in the mix with us together, that's, that is the move of God. And, and as we journey forward in this, I believe we're headed for some good things. So oh, I do too. thank you for responding. If you didn't, it's not too late. These groups are just forming. They're going to yes. launch in the next week. Yes. And so it's not too late. Well, we have the list and the brochure and with the leader's name and a, a contact number. And man, you need to be in a group. You need to get out from being in proximity to the church mm -hmm. and being in the middle of the church and mm -hmm. becoming the church and, and not just being part of a Sunday morning crowd, but an everyday people who are seeing church happen every day in every area of our life. But that's what God's doing in these last days. So Thanks for giving us a minute. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's good to it's have you here. And, and you're just like the prettiest dangling earrings I could get, even though I don't have earrings. Should I get an earring? No. Yeah, I'm a little old for no. an earring. How about so a just a quick announcement or two. Today's Friday when you'll be getting this email. Tomorrow, Saturday from 9 until 1, we're going to have a church work day. So we've got all kinds of little projects, just some cleaning, some moving, some repairing, um, just stuff that needs to be done. We're inviting you out. We're going to have some donuts and coffee in the morning. We'll have you some hot dogs and brats for lunch. So I want to invite you, encourage you to come and be a part of our work day. Uh, Sunday after the morning service, we're going to have a volunteer call out for the Bacon Fest. The meeting is only going to take a few minutes. Just want to get you signed up and get you briefed on where we're at and where we're going. And then, uh, June is our growth track month, so for four weeks, four Sundays in June, we'll go through the four steps of the growth track. If you've not been through the growth track, I want to encourage you to take part in that growth track. It will, it will change your life, and it will really get you uh, acclimated into the life of City Point. And then we have a lot of things that are going on that uh, after you've been through the growth track, you can just plug in and, and make a difference around here. We have our City Kids Ministry, which we have a great summer plan with summer outreaches. First one coming up in June. And so we're gonna, gonna be asking for your help and your participation. The whole church to come out and us to do a great outreach in the park, in Portage in the month of June. We also have our security team that's forming. If you'd be interested in being a part of that team, see Keith Clark. If, uh, if you have a heart to serve with our host team or usher ministry, uh, in our prayer ministry, we just we just have all kinds of ways for you to serve and make a difference here, and we're praying for you. It's City Circles launched this week, so if you have not signed up, you didn't get signed up. There's a brochure. It's available with all the different groups and the leaders, and I encourage you to get in a group and get signed up. It will change your life. God bless you.